All right, guys, what's up, y'all? We've got Tim Damaris of Mark Pro here today. Uh, he's nice enough to come out from Orlando to show me the Mark Pro and the Mark Pro Plus models to show exactly what this uh, EMS device can do. Uh, what are the distinct differences, Mark, between the Mark, I'm sorry, Tim, between the Mark Pro and what the typical TENS unit does, right? Sure, so that's a super common confusion we have in the eSTEM world, where eSTEM is this really big umbrella of different modalities. Um, we're actually, we're sitting on top of a beamer mat, that's one different spoke on the, on the umbrella. We're considered EMS. There's TENS units like you mentioned, and unfortunately they get all conflated. So TENS units, temporary pain relief. That N in the acronym stands for nerve, so the wavelength is actually designed to interact with nerve uh, endings, whereas the Mark Pro, we're really designed to interact with muscle fibers, and that makes our intent different. So our goal with Mark Pro is primarily muscle recovery. That's our FDA indication. The reason why we focus on muscle recovery is because we want people that are working out and they are going to take those muscles and break them down to get them back to 100%. And how we're going to do that is activation of the muscle, completely non-fatiguing activation of that muscle. We use a decaying waveform um, that's mimicking real muscle contraction so we can get good blood flow. We can actually distribute oxygen nutrients to those muscle fibers and then pull out lymphatic drainage on the back end. So good stuff in, bad stuff out. Very cool. So basically, um, bioelectrics and what they provide for the recovery response, the Mark Pro is, is totally unique in what it does uh, mm -hmm. and really none of the other devices out there can do what the Mark Pro does, is that correct? That's definitely true. So, like you mentioned, bioelectrics. Our body runs on a bioelectrical signal already. And eSTEM has been around for a long time. Um, you've probably seen, like, there, I think it was Rocky 3 or 4, where he's in Russia and they're doing some eSTEM and Russian STEM. And Bruce Lee said did some stuff. Most electrical signals, almost all electrical signals, especially in our field, they're shaped the same. Their parameters are identical. So, regardless of the machine, you're, they're giving you something that's a very artificial signal. It's called biphasic wave, it's a square wave. It's getting something that your muscle couldn't produce on its own. The Mark Pro takes a step outside of that realm and what we try to do, or what we do do, and we've done this for a long time, um, is we mimic real muscle contraction so it's non-fatiguing. So the result is superior lymphatic drainage. Um, never fatiguing the muscle, it's super safe to use. We can let athletes take this home and use this for themselves. So then we have no fear of them overusing it and causing injury or stress or creating a workout that's artificial. Very cool. So basically what you're saying is you really can't overuse the, the Mark Pro. Um, and that gives you a lot more broad, but also specific usage on a consistent basis sure. rather than sort of a single application for a particular issue you're dealing right. with. So, and there's some interesting um, ways to think about that. So most people, when I first start talking about Mark Pro, they're like, well, I have this issue or I have that issue. And we can definitely have an effect on those, whether it's tight muscles or an old injury or whatever. But our real goal is consistent use over time to get that incremental benefit of improved recovery so that say we take an eight or 10 week training cycle, we can show incremental improvement every day. So at the end of our training cycle, regardless of Mark Pro, you're gonna have some benefit. With Mark Pro, you're gonna get that exponential benefit. Very cool. So why don't we go through uh, some specific application uh, for what we would typically do for a particular type of workout. So say, uh, preparing for Ninja Warrior yeah. and doing a lot of climbing work. It's really, okay. really a lot of like forearm dominant, grip yeah. dominant type of work. Uh, why don't we go through some of the, the applications that you could utilize the Mark Pro for, for uh, right. elbow and wrist and hand. Yeah, sure, perfect. So, all right, so. So as an example, we're basically postulating that I've just completed a, uh, a really intense climbing type workout, something that's uh, that was grip intensive, really worked my forearms and my elbows and shoulders uh, extensively, and say I have a climber's elbow. Yeah. Um, and or gonna, like the typical, most climbers they're going to see, you're going to see when they're done, they have like that really stiff muscle here. Yeah. So all of this is going to be filled with lactic acid and metabolic waste. Now over time, your body does a pretty good job of removing lactic acid. The rest of the metabolic waste is what we're really concerned about getting trapped in that muscle. So what we usually look for is the medius parts of a muscle. So if we're focused primarily on uh, forearm, I don't want to stay just in that area. I want to go upstream, downstream. So we have two different channels. We have an A channel and a B channel. Each channel is going to have two electrodes connected to it. So we'll take the first on the, B, the A channel. We're going to the bicep. Obviously, large muscle in the arm. It's going to help us to actually drive lymphatic fluid through here. The other pad on the same channel, excuse me, if 
fast. Is still going to go, has to go on the skin so we complete this circuit. Now, because we're going to be in, increasing the intensity on this channel, I want to go to a muscle that's relatively similar. So I'm going to go into the tricep, right? So we're up here. And even though it sounds weird, we've talked about mid arm and grip and everything else, we still want to go to those large muscles up top. All right, so say we're 15 minutes later. Uh, we know that this muscle is nice and well, like flushed out. Sometimes you'll actually see the muscle itself have a more relaxed contraction. That's a really good sign as we want. Sometimes the contraction will get bigger on its own because we've recruited more muscles that are freed up from whatever waste is in there. So we know we're good. All we're gonna do is turn this guy down, disconnect our, our person here, pull him right off the skin. They are reusable pads. You get about 30 uses. I feel like I've just been un unplugged from the <laughs> matrix. <laughs> Very, very so cool. throw that back on here. Certainly. So the first thing that most people actually report back is that wherever we treat it feels lighter. Yeah. Now technically it might be a gram or two heavier because we have more blood distribution in that area, but it's going to feel lighter because we've removed constriction that we perceive as weight. That's a really good sign. Right. So the muscles relaxed, we have a perception difference, but our real goal is to make a difference into the next day. Right. So a great test for this, and we've done this pretty often is, heavy leg day, treat one leg. The next morning, have them get up and do one-legged squats, assisted one-legged squats, and to a T, everyone reports that that leg that was treated feels stronger because we've gotten a jump start in recovery. 15, 20 minutes of use post-workout, we're gonna look at four to five hours of optimized recovery they wouldn't have had otherwise, and now we have a jump start on the next day. So we're back to the Monday morning fresh, we're back to 100% as quickly as possible, so we can do it again. Right, and so basically what we're looking at here is the opportunity to start the week at 100% and really possibly even finish the week at 100% mm -hmm. because we've stacked the deck on utilizing the Mark Pro effectively with the workout mm -hmm. to follow a certain protocol to make sure that we're utilizing the Mark Pro on the muscle groups that we've been working throughout the week. So right. if we're doing a push-pull split, you utilize the Mark Pro on those pulling muscles that you yeah. used on the pull day yeah. versus the pushing day with the right. pushing muscles. So um, I think it. I think it's really going to make it a lot more of an efficient recovery process that not only increases performance but reduces risk of injury. Mm. Is that correct? Definitely. So injury obviously takes away from performance. Poor recovery takes away from performance. Um, and our main goal, even if we're a casual athlete, is performance. The function of the muscle, the health of the muscle, the fitness of the muscle. So all, all our focus on is just straight recovery. Fantastic. Well, Tim, thank you so much for coming sure. out from Orlando all yeah. the way, all the way down here to South Florida to uh, to show us how to use the Mark Pro. Guys, make sure to follow Mark Pro on Instagram. They've got a lot of really great content coming out to educate you on how to utilize this incredible technology efficiently, effectively. Uh, make sure to check us out and live kinetically.